everyone. We've been talking a lot about roots and you've been digging up a lot of weeds in your garden. Have you seen the varieties of roots that are available? Today we're going to talk about the varieties of roots. There are many kinds of roots. The first one we will look at are aerial roots. These roots don't get their water from the ground but rather from the air around them. They often grow in humid areas or forests. Another kind of root is a root climber. This type of root does not only have to find water, but it also has to help the plant find sunlight. The root climbs up other things like walls or trees and pulls the plant upwards towards the sun. Pillar roots, which are also sometimes called stilt roots, also have two jobs. One is to find water and the other is to help trees hold up their big and heavy branches. Look at this example, isn't it amazing? The next kind of roots that we're going to look at are called prop roots. They help the plant prop itself up and out of the water to prevent the stem from rotting. Some plants, like maize, have a soft fibrous stem and the stem isn't strong enough to hold up the plant. The prop roots help the plant hold itself up. You also see prop roots in mangrove forests. The next roots we are going to look at are swollen roots. They also have two jobs. One is to find water for the plant and two is to store food for the plant. We even eat some swollen roots. Look at this one. Do you recognize this root? This is a carrot and it is actually a root that we eat. This kind of root is called a conical root shape. Can you hear the word cone in conical? That is because this has a conical shape. A parsnip is also a conical swollen root. This one looks more like a cone than I carroted. Can you see it's got tiny little fibrous roots coming off? Look at this daikon radish. This kind of swollen root is a fusiform root. Fusiform comes from the Latin word fusus, which means spindle. Can you see that it is rounded at both ends? Look at this sweet potato. This is also a swollen root, which is called a tuberous root. This often grows in clusters. This kind of swollen root is called napiform. This is a turnip. It's been cut off at the top and the bottom, but you can still see some of the roots. But here is also a napiform root. Napiform comes from the Latin word napis, which means turnip. Do you recognize that shape? Small at the bottom and big on top. What I'd like you to do is look at these names and see if you can find examples of these that you either eat or in your garden. I'd like you to research what these names mean. Where do they come from? You could even work together with your mom or dad and make a root vegetable soup or make some delicious roasted vegetables for your bride. Let me know what you find.